<laughs> DJ nipple slip over here. <laughs> DJ nipple slip. Wait, based on do 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 <laughs> do. Hello, everybody. My name is Alex, and I'm Gary, and we are achieve mates every day, all day, all day, er day. <laughs> Arigato. Arigato. Whoa. Okay. Um. Yahoo CEO just emailed me. Oh, Frank just emailed me. <laughs> What's a, it was a chick. So I'm like, let me. <laughs> Francesca just emailed me. <laughs> let me go check on that, you guys. I'll let you take over. Hold on. And welcome to this week's installment of What's in Your Disc Tray? I totally forgot we were recording. I'm just. And welcome to this week's installment of What's, What's in, in Your, your disc, disc Tray? Yeah. Hey everybody! So it is Thursday again, and today we're gonna talk about. Keep talking and don't explode. I'm never gonna remember that. So uh, we did a let's play on Keep Talking and Don't Explode, and Alex killed everybody. Every single one of us. The end. The yeah. The end. Pretty much, if you've never heard of it, it's um, it's a game. It's a party game where you have multiple friends. We did, it was uh, me, Alex, Jody, and Josh. Uh, Alex, Jody, and Josh walked me through um, defusing a bomb, which you have a computer, it could be a laptop. We did a computer monitor um, just in front of me, in front of me blocking the me from the guys. So they can't see my monitor and I can't see the booklet. And the booklet explains how to defuse the different the bombs. Each bomb is a little bit different. It has different mechanisms that you have to actually defuse on the bomb. So it'll be one bomb and like three different mechanisms that it's either a puzzle, a memory, something to do with memory, or even the classic blue wire, red wire, white wire. It was awesome. And it it, it, it was it was pretty intense. And you get you really gotta be able to figure some of this stuff out. Really good communication, but it's it's even better when you just kind of mess with each other because then you start getting stressed out and that's when it gets fun especially after a couple of drinks or ten other than that that was a great game i highly recommend it how much was it it's uh, fifteen dollars fifteen dollars it's fifteen dollars on steam so get up go to your computer click on steam sign in go to store search it and then buy it. And then play it. And then search for some new friends because you're going to lose these. Okay, everybody. Bye bye. Hello, everybody. My name is Alex. And this week on What's in Your Distray, I'm going to be talking about The Witcher 3. Again. Yeah. But it's a little bit different. Uh, this week, I think it was um, sometime uh, either earlier this week or late last week. Uh, the Witcher 3 had its first DLC release, which is called The Hearts of Stone. And uh, they they rated the, the DLC to be about an extra 10 hours of gameplay. I personally got more out of it because I kind of took my time with it. Um, it was about $10 for the DLC, which is a great price. Um, but the DLC, what it does is it adds an extra story to the mission. Um, highly recommend that you do that after you beat the current game, just because it actually turns a lot of the enemies in the current map uh, to the level to to your current level so it kind of extends the current gameplay a little more so it makes it look really good for after you've beaten the game but basically the story of the game i'm not going to give spoilers but the story of the dlc is that you run into a guy named uh olgird von everick and he asks you to kill a monster but then through a turn of events you actually get captured um on a boat and or uh, you get captured and held prisoner on a boat and you're being brought to be killed to another country. And this guy appears named, the, um, he's named uh, the Man of Glass or uh, the Mirror Man, also known as um, Gun Gunter Odim. And he tells you that he can free you from your prison, but in return, you have to pay him back. And what he does is he then uh, embeds a scar on the left side of your face uh, as a reminder 
and then you get freed from the ship. But then uh, he comes back to you and basically tells you now you have to fulfill my um, my wishes. Uh, you basically become like his his lackey, um, and then you then continue through the story, um, doing various things, and then it eventually the story ties together. Um, uh, Olgierd von Everick and uh, Gunther Odem, and then yourself in this weird like three-way crazy story. Um, it's very, very, very cool. Um, it deals a lot with like uh, black magic or dark magic, um, which they don't really t discuss much in the game, really, because it's kind of like a forbidden art in the game. And it discusses a lot of um, other cool things like immortality and stuff like that. It's, it's really, really cool. DLC, um, I highly recommend it. Ten bucks. Um, gets you a lot of great gameplay. I probably got about 15 hours of it. I played it for a few hours every day this past week. Um, I already beat it, but. Um, it's a great game. They add a lot of other cool things. They raise the level cap. They also add um, what's called a rune, um, a rune crafter or a, um, a rune smith, which allows you to imbue like magic into your weapons and stuff like that, which is new to the game. So uh, highly recommend it. Great game. Great DLC. Uh, ten out of ten. Would buy more if they had more. So. So that's what's in our disc tray this week. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you have played any of these games or you want to play these games or you like these games or you like our videos or for any other reason, your cat could be sitting next to you and is really cute, you should like and comment on this video. No, let the cat like and comment, actually. Cause I let's actually... be honest, he's probably actually sitting on the keyboard as we speak. Yes. And let's, let's be honest, honest. We, don't, we like cats more. Cats are awesome. They are. Except for my cat. My cat's me. And my cats are turds, too. Well, that's it for this week, you guys. Check us out next week. And as always, go out there and play some video games. You nerds. Nerds!